Hey guys, so yeah, today I have decided to go to Macau. I'm now in the ferry terminal and the ferry is going to leave in five minutes, hopefully, because it's very foggy, so there might be some delay. But uh, yes, the idea today is to really take a break. Of course, I have my camera and I have a lot of uh, film with me as well, so I hope I will be inspired, take a lot of photos, but most importantly, just enjoy the day, visit, and uh, yeah, empty my mind for a bit. Okay. See you later in Macau. Hey guys, so I arrived in Macau. Uh, I passed the immigration, so I didn't record anything. Uh, I took the shuttle bus and now I'm in uh, Venetian Casino. I'm going to take the bus and uh, my idea is to go to one of the more uh, quiet area, more traditional but uh, everything takes much longer than I expected so it's already 11 a.m. Uh, I guess I won't have time to do much today so yeah let's go okay so I found the shuttle bus surprisingly without too much difficulty but the shuttle bus departs every 30 minutes so I don't know how long I need to wait so yeah, let's uh, let's wait. Okay, so I've reached the Ama Temple, and um, I have about thirty minutes to visit everything before there's no shuttle bus anymore. So I will hurry up. I don't think I can really uh, focus too much on photography because I really don't have much time and uh, yeah, let's do it. It's very foggy today, it's uh, up in the hills. Okay, let's continue the tour. A photo of cat. Expose a little bit so I can have details. Oh, but the framing is going to be tight. There is a exit sign and the fire hose. It may really, yeah, appear in the photo. Range finder, you know how it is. Not super accurate. Okay, okay we'll see. So my visit of the Ama temple is done. I'm gonna wait for the shuttle to go back down and uh, the next step is uh, uh, Koloan uh, village, which is a more traditional uh, part of Macau. All right, so I made it to Villa de Koloan. So starting from now, I'm just going to walk a bit randomly and uh, just shoot whatever I feel interesting. So let's go. Okay, so I'm at one of the touristic spots, Chapel of St. Francis. Okay, so finally the sun is showing up 
and it's uh, one o'clock so it's a very harsh light coming from uh, from above so yeah probably not the best but uh, anyway the main point today is to just enjoy and visit so let's do it I finally found a place to eat, so I'm going to eat first and after I will head back to the uh, Venetian and then back to the Macao Center. Okay, so I finished my lunch. It was pretty good and uh, not so expensive, I think. Uh, 51 uh, MOP, so I guess here yeah, around 45 Hong Kong dollar. So yeah, pretty decent. The ration is, is big as well. I'm walking to the pier of uh, Koloan. Okay, so I'm now on the on the pier. Can show you a little bit. It's okay. I just walk back. I find uh, really nothing interesting here. It's so artificial. Everything is so artificial here. So that's really the area which I try to avoid. I finally made it to the shuttle bus. After walking and walking in the, in the casino, this is a real labyrinth. There are like kilometers, I probably exaggerate, but shopping malls and shops everywhere and yeah finally I, I found it I wasted a lot of time it's already three o'clock yeah as I expected I will arrive there by 3 30 uh, and from there it's just shoot whatever I feel like Okay, so maybe I can show you the church. So we see it in the far background. I'm not gonna go there. You can see how many people there are. Yeah, so that's that's the main attraction of Macau. Okay, so I'm walking behind the church actually. There's a temple. The colors today are pretty nice. I could have taken some color film. Okay, so I'm in the more 
like traditional and uh, more traditional part and as you can see just a few blocks away it's uh, very old construction nothing fancy and this is what I prefer So I've been working for a while, I'm starting to get a bit tired and uh, less inspired. So I'm going to stop recording for a while and just uh, continue to walk. And uh, probably shoot a bit later. So I'm now in the garden. Uh, just taking a quick walk and see if I can find anything interesting. Oh, that's a massive cat. At this stage I had stopped recording. I continued walking in the town center, took a couple of photos in the street, when I saw a gathering, so I, I just walked in that direction and I discovered the market which, uh, which I later found is called the Red Market and is the biggest market in uh, Macao. So I stayed there for a good 20 minutes. I took a lot of photos and uh, I'll share a couple of them uh, with you in the video. There are some alleys in Macau, it's uh, really interesting. Like this one, probably too dark for the camera, but it's crazy. Hey guys, so I was supposed to give you a feedback about the day in Macau but on the way back I was so tired I fell asleep and slept the whole journey back to Hong Kong. So what do I think about Macau? So photographic point of view it's, it's fantastic, a uh, lot of architecture, the mix of Chinese culture, colonial, colonial building, uh, the Portuguese architecture as well is, is it's really beautiful. Uh, for street photography, if that's your thing, that's also very interesting. There's a lot going on in the street, whether it be local, going about their daily lives, or the tourists doing strange stuff, taking selfies or whatever. Uh, so you won't be bored and there's a lot of things to photograph. Uh, one day is not really enough to get a real feel of the city and usually I like to be in a location for a while so I can usually take better photos but uh, within one day being there I'm not dissatisfied about my photos really and um, things I really like uh, I really like the quieter areas of Macau the, the more about people doing their daily things but the more crowded part where there's a lot, where there's a lot of tourists uh, I try to avoid that as much as possible. There's of, of course all the very superficial part of Macau, all the casinos, luxurious hotels, uh, luxury brands and whatever and this also I try to avoid it but it may be a mistake because I'm pretty sure there can be interesting photos to be made there also. This is just a personal taste. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the day. It was uh, great. It was a good escape from Hong Kong, from the routine. And uh, 
I came back uh, boosted again, battery is uh, full, so yeah, that was a good experience. Um, that also gave me the idea of why not going uh, again to maybe to China for one day trip. So there's neighboring cities like uh, Zhuhai or, or Shenzhen. I'm not too sure how it is to photograph there. I have to do some research, but maybe if funds allow, I, I can do that from time to time and uh, bring you some different content, something more interesting than just shooting in the same area of Hong Kong. So I hope I get to do that. And um, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Take good care of yourself and see you later. Bye.